Okay guys, so here's the deal. This is my brand new fidget shelf. Ignore that, I broke it. Yep, I literally broke it the day I got it. This is my fidget shelf. This is the kind of mess I have on my mat. And this, these are my DIY fidgets that are already in. As you can see, I have more here. The current three of like upper shelves are using my DIY fidgets. I don't know if I can fit anything, everything in the two shelves below, but here's the plan. I'm gonna be doing a organizing video. I thought you guys would be really interested to see how I organize everything here. Let's begin. Okay guys, I set you up here and I brought the shelf in front. Hopefully this camera doesn't follow you. All right, so let's look at the situation going on right now. So when I film my videos, I like to put like the things that are not gonna be in the video in the shelf. So basically this is all the mess. I, I moved it out from there. Now let's take everything out. This. Also, if you want tutorials on any of the fidgets you see in this video, some of them are already posted on these this exact YouTube channel. And if you guys want to see any other kind of tutorials, comment down below. All right, now that everything is taken out, let's put the things in these two um, takeout boxes that I found would be really suitable for my fidget toys. And then put them in and then tackle the bottom shelf situation, guys. Okay guys, so this is the first box. I already have some acupressure rings here. I have some more acupressure rings. I have like one here. And I'm also gonna put a bike chain in there. Let me find my bike chain. Where is my bike chain? Oh my God, it's a mess. Here it is. I really love my bike chain so much. Guys, that's the first one done. Now let's do this one. In this um, box right here, I'm gonna be putting this new dimple spinner i have a triple simple dimple and two simple dimples that i have let's just put them like this onto this box over here for this box i'm gonna be putting my wacky tracks spinner ball magnetic rings and i'm also gonna be putting slinkies in here guys so previously I had everything organized, but I am a crazy person, so I unorganized everything, and it sucks. But we're gonna be trying to figure out the situation again, guys, because I don't like things messy, and everything is messy right now. All right, let's fix it. Okay, first I'm gonna put this wacky track in. It's really long. I'm just trying to fold it. Okay, so the first thing are the two slinkies. So we have that one and this one. It's literally like tangled here. Okay, let's try to like untangle it. Okay, it's literally tangled. I don't care, guys. Let's just put it in. And then we have the magnetic rings that I'm gonna be putting in just a second. Okay, done. Now I'm gonna put this in like this. And then next we have these magnetic like beads. I have no clue what to call these guys. I'm like really bad at naming fidgets. Um, it's kind of called like magnetic balls or like beads. I'm just gonna call it magnetic beads. I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna put my wacky track here. It's kind of a bit big, but okay. And I'm gonna be putting my spinner ball here. I decided I'm also gonna be putting in the monkey noodle. This one is so long, you guys. I have to fold it and it still barely even fits in there. Let's just try to push it. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. All right, I just did some minor adjustments. This is how it looks right now. Now let's put it in. Let's take our box and put it in like that. Now let's continue with the other. All right, now let's do it. First of the mochis, I'm gonna try to be neat here and put them in like nicely so that they are more organized. So first is the that mochis, then we have this one, the Skudetama one. These two, I don't even like these, these are ugly. I just got them for fun because at that time I loved them, but now I don't really love them anymore. 
So, yeah. And also this cat mochi, yellow cat mochi, and pink cat mochi. Now let's move on to the next box. In the next box, I'm going to be putting marble mesh and mini monkey noodles. Let's do it. First, this blue one. I think I'm going to put it this way. Or should I put it this way? I'm, I think I'm going to do it this way. Green one. Pink one. I just love doing this pattern, guys. If you realize in my ASMR video that's going to be posted, I also did it in this way. And it's like so funny because I don't even know why I like this pattern, but I just like it. So don't mind me and don't hate on me. All right, now I'm putting in the monkey noodles in this loop pattern. I just love being neat, guys. This is honestly such a nice, like, organizer I was able to get. And it was also not cheap, so yeah. Okay, now let's put it in. All right, and now let's do the stress balls in this compartment here. All right, guys, now let's put it in. Um, I have this um, bread. I have this cat needle. I have this unicorn stress ball with Orbeez inside. And these two shaggy Orbeez stress balls. Let's put them in. All right, so this is how it looks. I'm pretty happy with it. I also almost forgot but I have globul gobbles, like air globbles. And they also belong in this compartment. So this is how it looks like, guys. Now let's put it in. Shelf. And, oh, it's heavy, guys. All right, this is how it's look. I'm going to see, like, whether I'm going to put anything in. I'll update you guys if I'm putting anything in. I decided I'm not going to be putting anything, so let's close this up and now organize the bottom, which is going to be so hard, guys. Okay, let's open it. This is the current situation. I have the textured pets there, Orbeez pet there, a thicker textured pet there, some putty over there, all my Rubik's Cubes there, two squishies, and a jumbo acupressure ring that I made out of a jumbo um, slinky, and it feels so good on your arm. I love it. Now let's like take these things out, which is this and these, because I need some space here, guys. Also, let's put that back in there. Now let's put the poppets. Finally, my last poppet. Now let's put the mini ones in, you guys. Okay, so first we have this bear, and then we have this doggy. We have, and then lastly we have this tie dye circle poppet. And now let's put in the dimples. Dimple digits by Fat Break. Regular off brand dimple, and another regular off brand dimple in. A unicorn shape let's put that in there this is how everything is looking so far i think now i'm going to be putting in the squishies and all the other things like the puzzle balls and the slinky because the jumbo pockets poppets of course i do not want to fold it and i do not want to squeeze it in let's put the puzzle ball in we have this puzzle ball i think i'm going to put it in the corner over here so that it saves space. I was gonna put in this slinky. I'm really squeezing everything here because I don't have much room. Let's squeeze that in and then all of the squishies, I'm gonna find a way to put them in. Okay guys, this is how I fit it in. I couldn't fit the squishies in. I actually have a separate um, squishies bin. Fun fact, I love squishies so much before I loved fidgets and I still do love um, squishies. Also, I, if you're wondering and if you've been following me like on YouTube for long enough, you probably know I still have these um, two um, containers of needles and stuff i can't fit these in i'm gonna put them in this in the basket on the side and yeah basket now let's put the things in first the among us and then my butterfly whoops and then my hexagon and the two boxes of needles 
Alrighty guys, I think the organizing video was so successful. As you can see, I'll show you guys. Here is how it looks. I have all the stuff that doesn't fit in the top. I, I decided I was gonna put it in the top. And then everything is in each of the shelves, all nicely snug and fitted. Thanks for watching today's video. For now, peace.